Tony Robbins stuff or any kind of like motivational uh, stuff where you walk across fire or anything. You know, you know, Tony Robbins. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I've done many uh, motivational uh, talks uh, over the last few years or actually the last 20 years, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I've never walked across fire. All right. Well, <laughs> you and I are going to walk across fire, but let me let me just tell you something about Tony. I've been studying under Tony's guide since I was about 22, maybe 23. And there's a thing that Tony does where he gets you in a peak state. And it's like that, it's like that pregame, like right before you you go out on the ice that like, you know how your body just like you jump around and you can't, you almost like, you have to go to the bathroom, but you really don't have to go to the bathroom. You're excited. You have all the serotonin levels are jacked up in your body. Well, he has this way of getting people in a peak state uh, that I've been doing for almost 30 years now. And one of the things about getting in a peak state is watching clips of sports or something that, that motivates you as a person. And I just want to, I just want to play this for you because I know just you hearing it is going to get you in a peak state, but <laughs> I just, I just want to play this for you for a second. Okay. Just listen to this. And then I want you to, after we're going to talk about how this makes you feel. So hang on. So and he puts a shot right over Brodeur's glove. And all of a sudden, you know, Mark scores one goal, and all of a sudden it's tied. Now it's 2 2. Now everybody's conjuring the guarantee. Messier's just got the Rangers back to even. Now it's a Ranger building. Now the Devil fans are nervous. Now the Ranger fans in the building are electric. And you can sense that something is happening. And then there's a few shifts, and then Leach, Kovalev, and Messier are on the ice again together. And this incredible passing sequence, and there's Mark in front. And now they're just several minutes away from bringing it back to the Garden for Game 7. Jacques Lemaire, the first-year coach of the Devils, decides to pull his goalie. Jacques Lemaire is going to go for it, try and get this thing tied up with a minute 53 to go in the third. Messier won the draw. Let's declare it around. John McLean tries to send the puck from in front. Messier grabs it. I was on the ice right behind him. I could see it was basically dead center. The empty net. Mark Messier, don't you believe it? When it went in the net, it clicked. I said, he just got a hat trick. He just scored a hat trick in the third period. Who gets a hat-trick in the third period? He called that we're going to win. He gets the game winner, and now he's just throwing in a hat-trick. And I'm like, I just started laughing. I said, that is, that is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Who does that? You do. 
but everything changed. Everything changed about how we looked at Mark Messier. Everything changed in how we looked about the Rangers. And um, everything changed. Now, are you in a peak state? I am. Right. That's my point. This is why I'm kind of in this peak state right now. Okay? So, just what you're going to do is you're going to just follow me. Okay? You're going to follow me. Come on up. are much different now than when I was training but uh, the one thing that kept me uh, playing for 26 years that I was able to change with the times and with the innovation of new strategy and new technologies and new training methods so I'm all in for everything I love training yeah. whatever works for best yeah also you know I, I think people don't realize we're in our 50s and you know because we have that athletic mentality it's the athletic mentality even if you didn't play sports is really something that will keep you in shape the rest of your life. You don't have to be an athlete to stay in shape. You have to just have an athletic mindset. So no matter what you do, even if you're just doing, you know, dance class, you're dancing as an athlete. It's just a person in motion, right? That, that's what an athlete really is. But a, a world great athlete is Y-O-U. So if you have, if you have uh, heavy weights, grab them now. We'll just do some upper body here. Do you have any weights there?
Feel good? I am feeling great. <laughs> Do a little fly here, just a little one. Okay, be really careful. Keep your abs tight. We're gonna go slow and down. Just open up that chest. A little lighter if you need to, or heavier. Up to you. I'm not sure how hard you've been training out there. Beautiful back rocks. Give a big shout out to Fire Chief Ray Downey, my brother. Yes. And Ladder. Yes. Thank you, firefighters. Yes. Aw, that's so nice. Go, brother. Ten heavy. Good, nice. Go down. Good job. You're doing great, bud. I ran up a chart and might do it again. Going into some lower body here. Okay. Ten toes down. I'll be free to the end. Crew outside the city. I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years. I've been swaying for the whiz. I'm in debt to no one, but the one who says. Get in that 
Make sure you keep your abs engaged. Keep your shoulders and your lower back off the ground. Relax your toes. recap it. So this is the mad this has been the magic of of quarantine. The small, strong, hundred percent effort, short, intense workouts two or three times a day. So it's ten minutes. It's, we started out eating bugs. We started <laughs> out um I did on the hour, every hour, nine to five, Monday through Friday, 60 seconds of fast jumping jacks. Then we added a minute of squats. Then we added a minute of push ups. Monday through Friday went from 60 seconds to five minutes. Then we went to 10 minutes. Then we went to 15. Then we went to 20. Now we're doing 20 minutes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 10 and four every single week. And I, I'll show you later some transformational photos that people are starting to send in because it's been, you know, it's been three months and people are really, because of our platform at Honeycomb Fit, people are starting to really see a difference in their bodies. And I know that time is, you know, something now that we all have a lot of, but don't you feel like you've never been busier? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, been, been too accessible. <laughs> yeah, too accessible, A. You also don't have the same time to go out into the gym that you used to. You don't, you can't have a trainer come over. You know what I mean? Like, life is different now. And it's really, really important that people understand that everyone's going to need energy to get through, to get us across the finish line of what's going on in our world with uh, you know, all of our, our uh, passions and everything for what happened to George Floyd. Not only that, just, just with everything, with, with the confusion of the state of our union, you know, it's like you need to be in shape to deal with the stress of life right now. So well, I, uh, I, to your point, Stacey, I think that uh, with all the unrest in the world today, it's always a great reminder to make sure that you're, you yourself are centered. And if you don't know what center is for you, you need to find that out because I think that alone will uh, will help us all get through this uh, crazy time that we're all living through with the pandemic and the and the protests and whatnot. So being yeah. centered yourself, I think, is absolutely uh, necessary. And uh, we we at Honeycomb just uh, wish everybody all the best. We sure do. And aside from loving you just as a human being, and loving you as a person, and your 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 attitude in sports, and your you know your your team spirit, you know, I've always been a very big team player. I also have also had number 11 my entire life since I'm eight. So we have that connection, which we never talked about. <laughs> but the, the, the captain aspect of your life and the captain aspect of, of who you are as a person is, is why we are like-minded people. I've always been a captain. I've always tried to lead my company in the best way I can. By example, being a good person never speaking ill about anyone, always being there for my, my friends and family that need me. And at Honeycomb, you guys, honestly, on behalf of Mark and David and Tracy 
and Gaurav and Ike Chair and everybody here at Honeycomb, like we are united at home. We are united as a as a brand. And you know, I'm still very, very attached to Soul Cycle. I can't wait till they reopen. Um, and you know, I can't wait till your hockey center's open. And I can't, I can't wait to wait to train with you on the ice and on the inline skates and just, you know, just keep doing the workouts. Everyone's asking me if we can do Mark and Stacy Mondays, something to think about. Um, but I really appreciate you uh, making the time to train with us today. I really enjoyed it. And uh, as, as workout, working out should be fun and it should be to music. It should be a celebration of yourself and your body and uh, taking care of yourself is the most important yeah. for all of us. And yes, uh, yes. As, as you said earlier in the uh, in the in the telecast here, <laughs> or all of that. Not to date ourselves. Not to date ourselves, but uh, yeah, no kidding, eh? No kidding. <laughs> uh, but I said earlier in the in the in the uh, in the uh, in the telecast here that uh, there's many ways to the one way, and uh, everybody just has to figure out what their own balance is and start slowly and work your way up. Agree, agree, and uh, and I'm here to do that, and I'm, I love training you, and I'll, I'll train you any day of the week, buddy. Thank you so much for having me. So, guys out there in Honeycomb Land, we will figure out another way to, to train together, okay? That was really, really fun. Remember, short and sweet is the best way to do it. Intensity is key. And we don't give up here. We don't give up. Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll see you in the Zoom later. Everybody. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>